Okay, so in, in this video, I'm going to show you how to open the, uh, the tributes bin with the Need for Speed program. Basically, you start the program. What you're going to want to do is you, you got to know where you installed Need for Speed, whether it just be the files for the offline version or if you still have the original Need for Speed installed on your computer, you're going to have to go to Computer, up here to Organize, Folder and Search Options, View, and you're going to make have to make sure that this is checked, that you show hidden files and drives. Because if you still have the original game installed on your computer, it's going to be in this file, Program Data. Okay? So that's where you'll find the data folder where the attributes bin is. If you're using the regular, the, the downloaded version with the downloaded game, like for uh, the one I'm using, which is 7.0, uh, it all depends on where you put the actual game files. Um, like for instance, for the 918 version, the game files are right here. They're inside the, the same folder under global and then attributes manage right here but for mine you would go file open and mine are in my computer so it'd be C program file 86 need for speed data global and then hit the attributes it'll automatically open it up okay now as far as your cars go all your cars are going to be in e cars uh, default racers and these are all the cars for the game whether you have them in your garage or the dealership they're all the cars uh, one thing to remember is let's just say you, the Ford GT if you make a change to the Ford GT that's in your garage the Ford GT in the dealership is going to have the same changes no matter what car you do every time when, whatever changes you make on that car automatically go to the car in the dealership too so if you buy the car again it's going to have the same exact mods on it that you apply uh, that's just one of the messed up things that are is part of doing this it affects every car of that model so like I said if, you, if it's the Ford GT or the G35 if you mod it it's going to be modded in the dealership too so just remember that you won't have two different mods on each car it's only one mod per car um, if you can't find cars on this list right here which I've included in my my, uh, my zip file this is how you find your cars basically anything from the M over you ain't gotta worry about these are all the cars in the game. The only reason you'd use this list is for the cars that are don't have a name on this list. They have a number. Okay, in order to find those cars, what you do is you look under the J and K category, you find the name of the car that you're looking for, and then the uh, corresponding number is right here for the car. So like the Chevy Cobalt is 1032. Okay, so that be right here 1032 okay now as far as modding basically these are what these do the wheel wells affect the inside diameter of your wheel wells okay uh, it doesn't affect the, the actual look of the wheel well on the body of the car it makes the wheel wells bigger inside so you can stick bigger tires in it without them showing through the car like a glitch your ride height you can drop the ride height of your car here uh, even further than the standard level 3 in game so it all depends on you know how high you want it the higher the number the lower you want it the lower the number if you if this like this is uh, 0 0.8 so this um, if you would put a minus sign in front of it that would drop it down eight inches okay so that's how that works 
uh, tire offsets are the height of your tires. The only one you'd have to worry about is the W. The W is uh, the height of your tires. I don't mess with these numbers. Uh, so these are 34 inches high all the way through the car. So the, the bigger, the higher this number, the taller your tire is going to be, the lower the number, the, the, you know, the shorter. Um, body squat, you can change these numbers. These are how much, you know, body squat your car has in a turn. Um, everybody knows what camber is. The higher the number, the more toe out you got. The lower the number, the more toe in you got. Uh... Your tire skid pad, skid width. This is how wide your tires are. Okay, so the higher the number, the wider the tire. The lower the number, the skinnier the tire. And that's how these are going to work. Um, skid FX. This affects how, like, if you slammed on your brakes or did a burnout on the street. This affects the uh, skid mark that it leaves on the street, okay? So if you put a wider tire in the back of your car here with the skid tire width, you're going to want to widen number two. You're going to make this one and make this number bigger because if not, you'll have a wide tire on your car and you're going to leave a skinny mark. So basically, that's how that works. Um, the tire wheel offsets, I don't mess with these a lot, but they do affect the rim size. And, uh, as far as how deep dish they are and how you know and, and stuff like that um, extra pitch this is on some cars all this does is raise the rear or lower the rear of the car it does nothing to the front so if you drop your car down with uh, your ride height but it's it's too low in the rear and you want to hire just the rear of the car extra pitch is how you raise the rear of the car Take away the minus, put the four, it'll raise it up four inches. Or vice versa. Body rolls, how much body roll you have in corners. And uh, that's pretty much all I mess with in this section here as far as uh, that. Then if you wear a car 1032, uh, if you go down to engine, default, find your car again. Um, okay? This is where you can adjust your engine braking, your idle, whatever your idle speed is, uh, your torque specs throughout the transmission gearing. You can change those. Um, this is a uh, the way the you know, um, the car distributes the torque. <laughs> Uh, you got your max RPMs, you can change them, you can change the size of the flywheel, and your maximum red line. Uh, there's a catch to this, if you do them, in, if you change any of the numbers in this ca this category here, you must change all these to the same thing. So all four have to be the same, in order for everything to work right. If you go down the tires, which is down... Down here in tires, uh, and find your car, which it, it, it would be under probably muscle. Uh, no, it's tired. Let's see, where's 1032? 1034? No. Tuner, there it is. 1032, you gotta find your car. Uh, Selection width, these are your tires, uh, the width of your tires, so if you change them up on the first part in e-cars, you should change them here to the same size. Like, just for instance, on a Trans Am I did, I had 195s in the front and 355s in the rear. This makes your tires exactly the same. Um, yaw control will help you with your, uh, the, the, the basic handling of the car, you can mess with those if you want. Steering range also you can mess with. This you know gives you uh, how how much steering you have. Uh, if you want more, if you want a little less, because some cars are touchy, uh, you can lower or higher these numbers to affect that. 
dynamic grip. This is how much dynamic grip your tires have from the tire to the pavement, front and rear. Uh, you can change your rim sizes here, uh, just for instance, and you, you can mismatch them. So just, just so know, you know that. Uh, just for instance, like on my Firebird, I have 18s in the front and 20s in the rear. Um, and this, the way this works is, once you change these numbers, if you go into the aftermarket shop and you throw a set of rims on your car, you want to throw the lowest number you put on the car. So, like I said, I had 18s in the front and 20s in the rear. So you put a set of 18s on and they will show up just like these numbers are. But it'll have 18s in the front and the back ones will be 20. And that's how that works. Yaw speed has to do with your control of your car, drift yaw control. You can change these numbers. Uh, these will actually make your car into a drift car if you change them the right way. And uh, you don't even need a drift tag. So I don't. If you're a drifter, that's what you want to do. Aspect ratio this is a. Uh, the. Uh, the weight transfer between the front and rear of the car, uh, static grip, again this is part of the grips for the tires, um, grip scale, same thing, and steering, you can change this. This is, this is steering sensitivity, so you know, it's, it's how sensitive you want the steering when you're driving. Um, that's a touchy number, you'll have to mess with it to figure out how you want depending on how your driving is. Uh, all in all, that, that's about all I've ever messed with as far as uh, the codes in the game. There are a lot more. Uh, you can go up to... Um, you can mess with the NOS here. Uh, again, uh, these are your car. This is your car as far as default goes and NOS base. Uh, the rest of them I wouldn't worry about. But you, this is how they made the super NOS on the cars. So you can increase or lower these numbers and see what they do so that all your cars can have the NOS. But what this does is this affects all the cars not just the one you're in. If you mess with the NOS it affects everything. It does not it just affect the car that you're building. So that's something to keep in mind too. The way you do this is after you make changes, always hit file, save, okay, and then start the game. See what it did. After you're done seeing what you did on your car, shut the game down again and then go back here and adjust the settings. That's the way you need to do it. You can't have this you know, you got to save this file and then start the game. You can't have the game running in two changes. It doesn't work that way. So, with all that said, that's that's just about it as far as, you know, things that I do um, and how I've made my cars the way they are. You know, and, and, and on some cars, you know, you can take, like, if you want, like, the, 911, the 997 GT3 specs on the A3, all you got to do is write them down and transfer them over you know and then your car your A3 is going to have the specs of a 997 GT3 so you know that's pretty cool too I did that on my Firebird I basically took the, the transmission specs from the Veyron and stuck them on the Firebird and it, it's just it's 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 uncontrollably fast it's unbelievable how fast the car is now so that, that that's pretty much it um, as far as that goes, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I've done. Um, you can, uh, like I said, it, it's it's all trial and error. If you've never done it before, you know, it, it's just you, you want to mess. If you like, if you're going to change a number, you want to change it maybe one or two at a time, up or down, and make little changes and see what they do before you start putting high numbers in this, that, and the other thing. Um, <clears throat> other suggestion would be always keeping backups okay every time I make a car on the regular 1.7 server I back up everything over here ok 
okay? I back up all my persona files and the attribute file that I altered. Okay, just in case something goes wrong and you want to be able to save your shit, this is how you do it, okay? Because then you can just go back and copy all of these and put them back into the 1.7 server file and you'll be good to go. Your, your game will be the same way it was, okay? So I, that's something I always do. And, uh, yeah, it's always good to keep backups of everything you do when you make changes. That way... Like I said, if, if you ever do something wrong, you can go back and save your game. You don't, you're not going to have to deal with just having it screwed up. Well, with that being said, that's about it for this video. Enjoy and have fun.